KPL News time is 742. This is Acadiana's Morning News with Brandon Como and Bernadette Lee. How can you prevent crime or help prevent crime from happening? You know, it, we talk a lot of times about how, you know, crime happening, and sometimes we think we kind of may get a, a, a helpless feeling, but mm-hmm. you really do um, have the power to help prevent some crimes from happening. And here to explain that are two people with us this morning, Lafayette Police Chief Jim Kraft and also Dr. Holly Howitt, uh, with uh, Executive Director of Lafayette Parish Criminal Justice Coordinating Committee. So good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so yesterday you all had the uh, the conversation at the Lafayette Parish Sheriff's Office Public Safety Complex on Willow Street. Um, love it, uh, love it, lock it. Basically, this deals with uh, stolen guns being used uh, in crimes you know, recently, um, throughout the years, etc., and how really people just locking their doors can help to prevent crime from happening. It's true. Um, last year, just in the city of Lafayette alone, we had uh, 219 handguns mm-hmm. and 19 rifles and shotguns stolen out of unlocked vehicles. Mm. And those guns uh, don't just go away. They end up being used in other crimes. Um, we've had uh, examples where children have found a discarded weapon. Mm. Um, you know, so you have that uh, situation to worry about, uh, which is, is pretty dangerous. Um, we gave just a few examples in our uh, release yesterday about what happens to these stolen guns, where where do they go, who's using them. And they're being used to commit robberies. They're being used to shoot other people. They're being used to, uh, in in, such as in the case last year, shoot a Lafayette police officer. Mm -hmm. And um, that was a gun stolen from an unlocked car. And uh, so we, we can all join together and make our community much safer by, just doing a simple thing. We tell you, take that gun out of the car every night. When you're going to lock up for the night and that kind of thing, take your gun out your vehicle, put it in your home. But uh, we we want people to lock their cars. Simple simple little thing to do, lock your car, make sure all your stuff's locked up. Um, we have video of these people committing these crimes because many more homes have these yep. video camera systems now and these external cameras film these guys. And you can just see them going from house to house pulling on car door handles. Mm-hmm. And the ones that are locked, they walk away. The ones that are unlocked, they spend about a minute in the car and they come away with guns, cell phones, computers, um, your wallet, Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. identification, cash, valuables, uh, all of those different things. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a real easy thing to do. And I guess in some ways we're like, hey, man, it's it's Lafayette, you know. But we just don't live in that world anymore. We just don't. You know, unfortunately, we love Lafayette and Lafayette is great, but you have to lock your doors. Got to do it. You do. And, and uh, we've joined with uh, the Criminal Justice Coordinating Committee. It's a it's an, it's one of the issues that came up in, in one of our meetings as we look at the entire criminal justice system. And uh, Holly can, can talk about that and how we, we came to, to come to this campaign. Yeah, we realize it's not just a problem within the city limits of Lafayette. It's, it's a parish-wide wide issue. And so the other thing is we, issue, we realize that it's hard to change a habit. It's, it's, and so the research says that it takes a minimum of 21 days to establish a habit. So... We're launching Lock, Lock It, Love It with a 21-day public awareness campaign. We're um, hoping to partner with radio um, media like KPL and TV and print to publicize this issue and um, help us get the word out to lock cars. We're also doing this through social media. So every day we're having Facebook posts, and if you see a Facebook post, share it. If you do, If you don't see it, you can go to the uh, Lafayette Police Department's Facebook page, the Sheriff's Office Facebook page, um, the Criminal Justice Coordinating Committee has their own Facebook page. You can like it and share those uh, those feeds and help your neighbors, help your community to be safer because, um, like you were saying, Bernadette, we all love Lafayette, so let's all lock it and love Lafayette. Mm-hmm. You know, it's easy because you go in your house and you're thinking, oh, I don't need to lock the doors, you know, or the garage door is down, but, you know, that doesn't mean somebody can't slip in under that That garage door, you know, slip in there, take your wallet, take a gun, take whatever, you know, it may be. And it just, 
unfortunately, we, we don't live in a world that ain't Mayberry no more. <laughs> <laughs> it is a great community, but we, what we can do that is easy to make it an even better community. Don't, don't make it easy for a criminal. Just don't do it. Do not make that easy for them. Lock your doors. Lock the doors to your house. Even if you say, Oh, I'm going down the street for just a couple of minutes. Lock the doors. You, you really do need to stress that because um, even just going to the convenience store, mm-hmm. people leave their cars unlocked and running at convenience stores. And so we have a lot of cars that get stolen all the time because As somebody just gets me. right in and drives off. Yes. Yeah. That would be me running into the store to get a big old cup of ice, leaving the car on. Yeah. I'm not too swift. Mm-hmm. You got to You got to get in the habit of doing it. And, yep. and it, you know, as uh, uh, Holly said, it's 21 days. If you just do practice this for 21 days, you will get used to locking that car. You know, one of the last things I do before I'm in for the night is check my vehicles to make sure they're all secured, mm-hmm. even the ones parked in my garage. Yep. Uh, some people have cars parked outside their home, and there's mm-hmm. a garage door opener in that car. So if somebody gets into your car outside, they, all they got to do is hit the button and open yeah. your garage door, and they're in. Well, and as far as you is not only locking the doors, but if you're going to leave those valuables inside your car, also I'm sure you want to stress as well, making sure that you put them in a safe, concealed place. So as we know, most criminals, they won't try to open up a door that's that's already locked. They won't try to break in. But for those few that may not be thinking logically and want to break in, especially if they see a gun lying down on, on, on your seat, it's also so important to make sure to, to hide your stuff as well. Yeah, and and it's been our experience that uh, once they're inside the car, and we watch the videos, um, a minute, probably a minute, thirty seconds at the most, they can find those hiding places. I was gonna say, yeah, they look under the seat, they look in the glove oh, box, yeah. and so we say, listen, the just laundry. take the gun out the yeah. vehicle and bring mm-hmm. it inside with you at mm-hmm. night. Mm-hmm. Get in the habit of, you know, doing that every day. Mm-hmm. Every day, and we'll, you know, we'll actually, we're going to monitor now that we've kicked off this campaign. Yeah, we'll how are you going to do that? Well, we're going to check our stats weekly, mm-hmm. and we'll see if we see a reduction in the number of incidents. I and, sure hope we do. You mm-hmm. know, it's kind of hard to check and see how much mm-hmm. compliance we're yeah. getting other than if we see a drop in those right. incidents. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we're going to publicize that weekly, and we'll also have some uh, what's called GIS maps that will p- show you where the vehicle burglaries have been for the past week, both from the Lafayette Police Department and the Sheriff's Office are going to do that just as a commitment to kind of um, let the public be aware. Because yeah. we want people, the public to be aware. We want them to be involved in crime prevention. Again, you know, locking your doors, particularly in this day, all you have to do is press a button and listen for the beep, beep. And yeah. you know, you're, yeah. you're, you know, you know your, your door is locked and, and you're secure. And so we're just wanting people to, you know, Make that habit. Mm-hmm. Speaking with Lafayette Police Chief uh, Jim Craft and uh, Dr. Holly Howard, Executive Director of LCJCC, and you hit on this earlier, Dr. Holly, because you were talking about, you know, talking about the radio and television, but also hitting on social media because social media can be used in for good and for bad. And obviously, in this way, you talk about breaking habits, and one way to help break a habit is when people constantly see that reminder, especially through Facebook and through Twitter and through social media, as they're constantly getting that reminded in their brain that's going to really can really help significantly turn the tide of what we're talking about right now yes definitely and so you know again we're asking everybody share it's so easy to like and share things on Mm -hmm. facebook these days so if you see something you know share it with your friends and neighbors and loved ones Mm -hmm. so not that i would ever recommend this but you know if you happen to own a business or whatever it'd be fun just to go out in your parking lot and pull on the doors I'm not saying you should do that. I'm just saying, you know, it might be randomly kind of fun if you did that. Or just I remind, I just remind your customers. Yeah, yeah. Re- remind your customers. Hey, did you lock your doors mm-hmm. before you came in today? You'd be like amazed. Well, we I did think. that here with Trooper Brooks David here Everybody's at our own parking much, lot. I still, it was pretty good. I can still see his face when he pulled on the the doors of those who didn't lock their vehicles, uh-huh. which fortunately wasn't much. Yeah. But of those who didn't lock their vehicle and just looking. <laughs> Just giving that look like, come on, come lock on, the door. <laughs> <laughs> Lafayette Police Chief Jim Craft and Dr. Holly Howard, our guests this morning. Again, love it, lock it. Make sure you are locking up your cars. Make sure you're locking, locking up your uh, houses as Don't well. Don't make it easy on criminals. Mm-hmm. 
make it as hard as you can. Again, you can help prevent crime from happening right. here in your parish. Well, yes. we look for those daily reminders from KPEL then to get that out. <laughs> I'm so all we good. Wanna, we want to hear that announcement every day. I'll be look, listening. Holly, to you, right. have to well, email me every day yeah. with some new tip about locking the door. See, we're going to have to get we in the are, habit of it. We are, yeah. Every day for the next 21 days, you will get something um, either from me or from um, somebody in the communications department. I love it. Awesome. I should, we shall be there to do that. Maybe we might even, I don't know, crazy thought, get Ken Romero and Dr. John Sutherland on Go Acadiana. <laughs> you know, people listen to the show in the afternoons or driving home and remind them, hey, when you're getting out of your car and going in to listen to this fabulous show, don't forget to lock the car doors. Yeah, I know. Ken is a is a, a gun guy, and so uh, yeah. that that'd be a good thing for for uh, their show. Yes, something less be. controversial. Yes, yeah, something yeah. less controversial. Now we can't make any promises about Russian Hannity. I mean, they they do whatever yeah, they want. You know, they're kind of yeah. busy. Well, y'all, thank you so much for visiting with us this morning. Well, we appreciate thank y'all. it. We appreciate no problem. You. If you love it, lock it. Yes. And I like my slogan: Don't make it easy for the criminals. <laughs> <laughs> KPL News time is seven fifty three.